Today we're going to change some settings on the Fire Tablet to make the experience of using it a little bit quicker and nicer. So this is just set up as it comes out of the box but I have installed the Play Store but I'm not actually going to use that uh, for any of this that I'm going to show you today. So first things first, go into settings. I'm going to enable developer options so to do that you just scroll down to device options about Fire Tablet and then on serial number we want to press that until it says we are now a developer and developer options has appeared now there's lots of different things in here but just switch them on and just click OK to the prompt so lots of these we're not interested in at all at this stage but what we are going to do is going to speed up the animations so there's a bit you'll reach where it says window animation scale and if we drop that to 0.5 and then the next one transition animation scale and animator duration scale and then if we go back to the home screen what you'll notice is when you go through your apps it's just a little bit snappier than it was before and next one we're going to do is just go back into the settings apps and notifications and what we're going to do is collapse notifications. Now what that will do, it will just give you a number up at the top to tell you how many notifications you've got. Just makes the interface a little bit cleaner uh, when you're looking at it. And you're not bombarded with tons of icons that you're trying to work out what they are. So all you do is just drag down and you'll be able to see it. Next one we're going to do, you can see it's called Matthew's Third Fire. I don't really like the name of that. So again, in the settings, I'm going to go device options again and then change your device name and I'm just going to call this Tomo's Tech Demo another one that's just a nice thing to change and the next one I'm going to do is just in the settings so I've actually got a notification here that says Alexa cards that's been there for 15 days and it just won't go. I can't swipe to get rid of it, anything like that. So what I'm going to do is go into settings and then apps and notifications. And what I can actually do in here is go down to notifications and at the moment it's on for all apps. And what we're actually going to do here is get rid of that one that we don't want to see. So if we press see all from last seven days, it'll give you everything that you've had recently. But if you press the three dots in the top right hand corner and then show system, and it'll actually, for that particular one there, Alexa cards, it'll let you hide them. And now when I go down, the notification is now gone. Can be very handy if you've got an app that you want to keep, but you don't want the notifications and you just seem to be getting them anyway. And then for this next one, just going to go into settings and then battery. Uh, now if you scroll down in the, uh, in the battery settings, you will see there's something called display settings. So I quite like having a lot on the screen at once. So I'm going to change the default font size. And I'm just going to make it as small as it'll go. Uh, my sight's fairly good when I wear my glasses. So I like to have quite a lot on the screen. As you can see there, it's now reduced the size of the font, and I do quite like that. But if, alternatively, you want a larger font, you can obviously make that bigger. And there we go, we've got a much larger font now. So I'll just put it, for the purposes of the video, back to the default size. And the last setting I'm going to show you that is a must-do is in settings. If you're going to device options, and then back up and restore and I would just switch back up on um, that way all your settings bookmarks installed apps and everything will be backed up into the cloud and then if you ever lose a device or you need to get another one and you want to set it up then they'll already be ready to go from the backup that's it for this video if there's anything you think that I have not covered that I should have done please do add your comments below and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do so. It's very much appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.